Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We are in an assisted living facility and if you look around, it's like this disgusting, molded, hoarded, like, mind blown type of thing. I've never seen something like this, never. That's soaking wet. Whoa, 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 get a garbage bag, whoa. It's day two here in Tampa. This job is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Kitchen is almost done with the demo. I'm getting ready to move into the bathroom. We now have three floors worth of mold that we had just uncovered late yesterday. It's day two here in Tampa. This job is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Kitchen is almost done with the demo. I'm getting ready to move into the bathroom. We now have three floors worth of mold that we had just uncovered late yesterday. So there's a lot of additions onto this and um, I mean, it's pretty much the extent of it. So I feel like shit. No, I'm good. I'm good. It's, a, it's any other mold job. It was, you know, underbid because we don't know the extent of it and when you open up the walls, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So, here's what it is, shit happens. Oh, I can't get my rubber on. Oh, I hate feeling. Uh, this can't be open though, so he said we have to remove the drywall and then immediately put drywall back up. So we're gonna have to just do like a four foot by four foot like sections to see, unless we just cut straight eight foot and then just pop, 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 pop. Which might be easier. It's coming all the way down. 100%. That is steam, I think, or smoke up there is what that is. It's almost like, like it's uh, a little bit of leak and a little dust, but it it's is. definitely more. It doesn't look like, see from here, it doesn't look like a roof leak. Nope. Which is why Down I'm below, so first and second floor, it looks like a roof leak. I'm so confused. But what's on the exterior, it's always twice as bad on the inside. Oh. <laughs> so that means we have to go into each one of these fucking apartments. Floor oh, and fucking cabinets on the opposite side of this wall. Mm -hmm. Look at, but I mean, you look at the water damage. Yeah. So we're back here on our mold job and it now requires full suiting. So day one we wore N95s, which is just fine for what little bit of mold that we had found. We had discovered even more mold at the end of the day, which put in like a stop work order to get more approval. So we jumped in our respirators because of the amount of mold. So now that we're over a hundred square foot of mold, oop, I'm falling. We actually have to be fully suited and have our respirators on because shit just got real. So we went from just a single like 600, 650 square foot apartment and like five walls and a ceiling to uh, four floors. So first floor, second, third, and fourth. So this job has just gotten enormous. Juan and I are runners. I mean, no, that's a lie. Juan and I are doing the demo and Nick is going to be wearing gloves and just a respirator. He doesn't need suited up because he's gonna be running the garbage out. When we do something like this, it has to be completely sealed up in bags so we don't spread anything. So he's gonna be double checking, making sure the bags are tied and he's gonna go straight outside. Luckily we have a wheelbarrow because it'd be a long day.
today thinking of the day. Mother. today so we are going really fast we are making a completely demolition of the house I mean a part with mold and we are gonna finish before I was thinking we are doing really good we're actually doing really really good um, we have Probably 70% of the place demoed because when we knock out one wall on one side, I just punch through the other side I'm doing like the actual Kyle hating drywall thing. It's kind of funny, kind of ironic. Totally forgot my monster this morning. So I'm not like full on Kyle, but you know, I'm like halfway there. I'm watching Juan get dressed. <laughs> We are here on day 732 of this mold job. Um, honestly, no, it's not really 732. I don't know how many days it's been now. Um, I know there's been like a three month period that we had to stop and take a break because of legal issues with the client and the property itself. We're solely here just to sort. So I have a two trailers. I have my dump trailer. I have uh, the landscape trailer. The landscape's gonna keep and then this guy here is for the garbage. Um, we have Thaddeus and introducing Mike today too. Um, so it's gonna be an interesting day. We are gonna be in respirators because the amount of mold in there is absolutely ridiculous. Um, so stay tuned for day, 100, day uh, 732 and uh, we'll keep you posted. I'm Mike, it's my uh, second day on the job. Go in there, if there's uh, not a whole bunch of peaches around, I'll be happy. Well, my name is Thaddeus Key. I'm sitting here on this uh, mold yeah. remediation uh, 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 day today. 
don't really know too much about it. I know it's been a strenuous uh, job going on right now to where uh, it's really aggravated a couple of people and I know it's uh, uh, been un under some legal issues as of currently uh, too, but I'm just ready to get this job uh, over and done with so that way we can move on to the next project. Sipping on my coffee. It's safer than crack, but just as addicting as heroin. You know Thaddeus has never had caffeine, right? Nah. He's never had caffeine. Do you like chocolate? Like me. You know, it's hard <laughs> to not like myself, bro. <laughs> so. Maybe that's why. Never mind. We're Feel not good. You know, life is great. Anyway. I got to wake up this morning, open my pretty browns this morning. So I feel good about that. Somebody broke in and ransacked the entire apartment. So I'm trying to figure out what way this window is open over here. They're saying that the last people that were in it was this company. Yeah. I asked, I was like, pull video footage. He's like, well, we don't have it down that way, but the bedroom door was unlocked. The screen was popped out just a little bit. And he's saying, he's like, well, not a, bur a burglar's not gonna put the screen back. The TV is gone. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's leaking from up there. Holy oh, hell. Oh my God. That's soaked. I was wondering how the tile got wet because it's raised from the floor. Your floor is sopping wet up here. It's been seven weeks since, you guys have been back since we've been here. And they're trying to say, it's us. to say it's us, which is why I called the office, which is why Nick's here. Hi, sunshine. Hi. Uh, he was actually the last person in here, so I'm pretty sure he ransacked the place. The way it was, none of this was here. I just said all that there. The box, I believe, was there. Suitcase, unless you guys pulled that out, was not here. This whole room was empty. We pulled a dehu and the air mover and extension cords, and that was it. No water damage, no leaking, no nothing. It was all exactly how we had left it the last time you guys seen it. What we have going on here is a failure to communicate. And doing jobs like this is very hard to understand what's happening. Signing off. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to the Spalding Decon Show. Where we deal with really fucked up situations. Oh shit. How many TVs does this guy got? It's like a fourth TV. That's not how you said it. So how many motherfucking TVs this motherfucker got? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 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 Oh my Here at Spalding Decon, we're always live. Cameras never cut off, okay? Well, I mean, they do when we go to the bathroom. Oh, well, no, there were those hidden ones. There could be some hidden. We have this person, uh, her name's Christina. She has behind the camera a lot. And uh, she's a cool chick. I mean, very cool. Loves her pizza. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, the cameras roll. We're, oh, well, you know what? She's here today, actually. This is America. This is Christina. America. You can't see, but she's here. She's live. Six feet, six feet. Don't worry, Thad. I'll sit in the middle on the way back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this day has been so crazy. So we're here at the storage unit to unload all of this stuff into the storage facility. The third floor up, so thank God there's elevators, but it's going to be just a minute. We left Nick and Mike with the attorney and the property manager to finish any buttoning up. Unfortunately, neither of them are trained on trailers, so we're gonna have to go back over there, pick up the truck, and then head back. Mike's pretty good on his first job. There he is, the tall glass of chocolate milk. 
Oh, Dad, I totally got you something. Here. Man, that's what I always wanted, especially those freaking, you know, the uh, it, it little radio cords that with, do absolutely it, nothing. Yes. Somebody wore way too much perfume. Just got on. Why would you do that when you're <gasps> moving? We smell horrible right now. Yeah. Smell like a bag of dicks. I mean, I'm okay with that. I thought you would be. <laughs> <laughs> The mole job, the dreaded mole job. Yeah, man. You just touched my bat. I didn't mean to, but I know you just appreciate it. It is. Yeah. Um, so we're here just to do some light demo work because we had uh, two call outs today. So it's Ooh. so it's just Kyle and Thad today. You know, the best of the best, strong on this vibe. And then the twitchy camera girl. Um, okay. So we're gonna get in there, do some light demo, and kind of get the ball rolling. We're only going to be here a couple of hours today. Monday, we're going to have a full crew in here and get the rest of this stuff going. Hey, see you on the inside. Oh, I was holding the door for you. Oh, sorry. Right, favor. Uh, Come on, man. The water's fine. You ready? Mmm, smells musty. So the mold is stopped right here. Just because of the extent of damage that was done by the tenant living here previously. So we just got word that the tenant is actually going to move back in. Unbelievable. So we're just gonna start hammering away. Today's focus is definitely gonna be the living room. Um, and then we're gonna try, see what we can get done in a couple of hours here in the living room. And then if need be, we'll dive into the bedroom. If you're having any type of stressful day, if you feel like, hey, things just aren't going right, or you're just kind of ready for this COVID to be over so you can get back to, you know, life in general, it's a good way to release it. I was tired, I'm tired today just from the work that I did, and then I know yesterday, what were you doing, laying floor? Laying floor. At a car dealership, so. Laying wood. So he's laying. So anybody need that wood laid, let your boys know. I'm so done. <laughs> I'm not the only, uh, I'm not the only one in here with a dirty mind. So we're both just kind of dragging ass today. Just joking. No, you're not. It's all jokes. Lies. <laughs> nah. Talking about earlier, self romance, right? Dude, you gotta have a glass of wine, watching the sunset in the bed of the pickup truck by yourself. That's what I was doing. Self romance. You know, it's just, it's just, I was in touch with myself. I just loved myself last night. You know, I've been fast lane. Oh, Superman! Oh. Hey, Thaddeus. Yo. I said, you know what's super relaxing? What? Watching you work. I appreciate that. Bro. <laughs> That's like, it hits me right there. <laughs> it hits you where? It hits me right here. Oh, okay. I thought it would. Oh. Why are you moaning? She's just cray-cray. Here, I'll just watch you walk away. Um, you gotta get that swag going. Ooh, boy. Excellent. <laughs> oh, my throat. Spalding Decon maniacs out there. Spalding Decon Maggie, the maggot fans. Yeah, I appreciate them though. As mm -hmm. you know, yesterday was the first time I got to, or today is the first time I got to, you know, listen to some of the comments and shit like that. Okay, Thaddy. I appreciate them. I appreciate them. Ah. Very thankful. 
appreciate your kind words, everything else, your generosity. Appreciate yes. all that. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Without that, yeah, y'all keep us going. We wouldn't be able no. to continue onward. So, no. huge shout out to everybody. Super love shout you guys. out. Super shout out. And you're more than welcome to volunteer and come and help us out at any time. No. You're more than here. No, <laughs> can't do that. Yeah. But no. we do do ride along. No. We do do. Hey guys, we are back here at the drop from hell. I don't even remember what day it is, but I know we're four and a half months in. Um, so we're gonna finish demo. We had a nice restful weekend, so stay tuned for the fun. That is, hmm. is it a Monday? Yeah. Feel good. I'm very blessed to be here. Teamwork, teamwork. No glove, no love. Well, we're demo. We're just gonna clean this all out. We should be done with this whole thing probably in another, maybe two hours. And uh, sweep it up really good. Everything you own in a box of little. Fire department just came out because somebody tripped the alarm. The uh, the emergency buttons for this apartment. The emergency? Yeah, like the help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Medical, Medical alerts. Yeah, so the fire department just came out because I guess, oh. yeah, because we accidentally tripped an alarm somehow. Like none of us have been near a wall, but we somehow tripped it. So you wanna know what it is or? No, we need to know how to just disarm it so this apartment doesn't go off as we're doing demo. <laughs> Wondering if we just unscrew these fur strips. Nick's like, all the uppers are done. I'm gonna go to the hotel. <laughs> I had pizza this weekend. Too. Body's starting to look pretty, Body's starting to look pretty good, so I'm kinda of excited about this. I can't let my diet get crazy. So would you guys call it a diet or a lifestyle? Lifestyle. Lifestyle change, absolutely. Okay. 100%. I lost 150 pounds. How long did that take? Uh, it took me about two years. Wow. Nine months of that, I was going to the gym religiously. Religiously. Three times a day. It was a nightmare. But I felt so good. I'm Mariah. I'm the digital marketing assistant. Yep, this is my second week here. Third week. This is my third week. This is your third week. Yeah, holy cow. Awesome, and where's Christina today? Cause we miss her. Christina's in the office right now. Um, she, I came a little bit earlier than her, so I jumped on this job cause I was just there and I was like, I might as well get the rest of the demo. Um, but yeah, she's great. I'm, you know, trying to be great like her. So hopefully you guys like the videos. <laughs> Woo That's awesome. Awesome. Okay, I'm done being a camera guy. Thaddeus, you want to be the camera guy? What up? No. No? I'm good. I'm good. No? This is kind of cool. I think I'm going to quit demoing uh -oh. and take your position. Oh my goodness. That's what's going to happen. I can't. I'm not as cool as you mean. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You make that look so easy. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Okay, go ahead. I'm just going to pretend to pull it down. Why are you trying to be, why are you trying to be me? Oh, oh, okay, hand it to me, hand it to me. Oh yeah, look how tall I am. No. Training wheels, see this is what happens. Oh, that's not very nice. I got training wheels on it. <laughs> training wheels. You gotta go to school to be a PI? Oh, I don't know. Hell, half of these girls are P.I. They ain't went to no damn school. Fuck! Oh my god, I know. How many boys out there are too? Boy, these people out here P.I.s, boy. If you could be somewhere, anywhere in the world right now, where would it be? Italy, 100%. But right at the moment, I really just want to be up north with my family. 80 to 100 miles offshore, deep sea fishing, for sure. What would 30. you be fishing for? Tuna, probably. Mahi. Hell, probably grouper, a couple of ARSs. Just letting the broad screen, other than that. That'd be pretty much what I'd be doing right now. Uh, it's like, it's going to maybe twerking again. Woo! Hey, you want some pizza? Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> like, what do I got to do for a slice? Slice, you get the whole box, just come with me. I'm done. <laughs>
done. Lock me in a cage and call me your, call me your fucking bitch. Yes, Daddy, give me that slice. <laughs> we are nearing the end of the day. You can see all of the walls are down in here. 90, well, not 90. I'd say 30% of the insulation is out of the ceilings. All of the insulation is out all the way around the walls. It's been kind of crazy. Um, so we have some buttoning up and stuff to do like tomorrow. The guys will be back here taking the nails and screws out of the, out of the studs and things like that. And I mean, other than that, should be 100% good to go to get another mold test done. Be good to go. We're ending day 13,321 today. My experience with the job from hell was just that hell so in the beginning of course you guys saw you know, none of us we were we were in gloves and just an n95 we discovered that there was 10 square foot there was well more than 10 square foot um of mold so we had to put a stop work order and that day was only a partial day um because once we started to remove everything we physically saw the amount of mold that was in there so we had to get a, we had to get prior or we had to get approval um to continue and after that we ended up having to go in fully suited to remove all of the mold we were in our respirators um so going from that day and the several other hell days that took place in between um throughout the four and five month period we ended up removing all of the mold um, so we were able to get a per get permission because the apartment was so bad that we had to demo the rest of the apartment and just remove the walls and things like that so they could start from scratch. Um, it wasn't a mold issue. It was definitely a filth issue. So as we're moving this um, client out of the apartment we are in suits because the roaches are crawling they're falling on they're falling on our heads from the ceilings there's food and chemicals and all of this stuff we just we felt safer wearing our respirators and and our full suits going through and doing this job by the end of that day we were in n95s and we were in gloves um there was no mold spores disturbed. We were working on the other side of the apartment and we were pretty much able to contain everything um, on that side. So we were, we were good to go. So we got our test results back. We passed, the, we passed, there's no more mold in the place. So we are able to continue on with the build back and we can start working on the other four floors. Uh, excuse me, the other three floors that have mold in them. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations. That's it, guys. On to the next.